Good evening and welcome to Archery Buzz. Today we are going to be just running through a, an event that both me and Tom went to. Uh, let me just bring my notes up. Yeah, an event that both me and Tom went to that um, uh, was quite a big event for us uh, in the university shooting league, uh, in the university shooting scene, uh, which is uh, BUCS in uh, Outdoors 2014. So BUCS is essentially the uh, British University and Colleges sport. Um, so essentially what that means is that um, for each college and sport and university, they compete, uh, they put forward their, their best athletes in whichever sport and they compete for, um, for essentially points. Um, and those points are allocated to the highest, the top eight um, in each category. And those those points are then collated, and that somehow resembles to uh, how much funding and things like that that um, that that college will receive. Um, so we we went to this event, and um, we've been preparing for it, and we've been um, training for it, getting sight marks and all that ready. Um, and it was on the Friday the third. Uh, it was the the event was Saturday the fourteenth and Sunday the fifteenth. Um, so we wanted to get down there a day early, so Tom came down and picked me up, uh, on Friday the 13th, and, uh, we travelled, we, he got to mine about 5pm, and we travelled up to Lillishaw, and, um, we got there for the practice range, so we probably got there about half eight, and, um, we, we shot for a couple of hours, um, Tom decided that he didn't have sight marks for his longest distance, so he needed to get them. Um, so we got them and chatted to a few people, set our line tent up, all the standard stuff. Uh, went back to his house in Staffordshire. Then um, just went to bed because we needed to, uh, needed our sleep for the following day. So the following day we got up around sort of 6.20ish in the morning, which I didn't even know existed. And um, to get ourselves ready for the first day of, of serious shooting. So we got up, got ourselves ready, and uh, drove ourselves down to Lillishall. And um, Darby's got this thing where we turn up, and we like to we like to greet every single person on the range. And um, so we did our little run of um, saying good morning to everyone. So uh, walking down the line, first saw uh, NTU. So it's good morning and to you. Um, we, first, we then went on to see Nottingham and good morning Nottingham. And um, one thing that the judges weren't expecting was a nice little good morning. Because normally they don't get any acknowledgement until the assembly. So, <coughs> oh, Excuse me, I've been talking all day. <clears throat> so we prepared ourselves um, by setting up our bows. We... Um, Got ourselves ready for the uh, the World Archery 1440 that we uh, we were shooting that day. So unfortunately, we didn't get much filming done in the actual uh, of the actual shooting that day because we were too engrossed in um, shooting well. Um, so realistically, I had a, a reasonable uh, reasonable ninety. Uh, let me just scroll down. There we go. Yeah, so I had a reasonable 90. Started off quite well. Um, kept them all within the kind of bluish, which was kind of nice. Um, 70 didn't go quite as well. I just... Something didn't really settle that nicely. And the shots weren't coming away as they should have. Um, but then I was kind of looking forward to the to the lunch break. and So that I could um, rest and and get myself in the right mindset for 50 and 50 worked for my favor it kind of kind of did quite well out of it but then 30 again it's that kind of standard of i should be within the nine all the time and there was just a few mistakes that probably shouldn't have been there so all in all i was kind of a little bit disappointed with how i performed that day but it was it was fine it was reasonable um so I ended up with a score of uh, 1095, which got me a place of 20th, which isn't too bad. I mean, I was expecting 
within the top 15, but, you know, it was, it's, it's all about what happens on the day, so I wasn't too, um, wasn't too disappointed. But that day, I was introduced to the amazing Sam Baldwin, which is actually um, one of Tom's friends, um, but he, he's a great guy, knows a lot about compounds, and uh, we were discussing one of our teammates' setup, um, and pretty much the flaws of her setup so after we finished shooting we went over to the Southampton uh, Southampton camp basically and um, we just went down went round and used their barbecue for our burgers which was kind of nice and um, we were just in awe watching Sam Baldwin fix up this this um, mess of a compound into uh, into something magical and um, record breaking hopefully um so yeah we, we were just kind of trying to find out some stuff about what he's doing and uh just watching how fluently you can just kind of and there's a d loop which is kind of just amazing to us um so we ended up um just staying there for about a half hour and um we then sorted out her bow and took it we wanted to get some new sight marks for it so we went back to the um, Lillishall shooting uh, field and uh, went to get some sight marks for her. And one of the other guys from uh, Southampton, who is David Williams, um, asked for some coaching because he was struggling during the day. He um, he actually retired after 90 metres um, just because he, he wasn't getting the shots away and he wasn't feeling comfortable in um, shooting, essentially. So there was the onsets of target panic there. There was um, there's a few kind of technique issues, but I thought I'd kind of provide some coaching and um, get him shooting the next day. So I won't go into what I um, what I did with him, but it's uh, essentially getting him to to pull uh, compress his back muscles to get that little bit more back tension. Which which helped concentration and kind of focused on what he's doing rather than where the arrow's potentially going to be going. So we uh, we then kind of stayed there and did that for about an hour and a half, and then it got kind of dark. So we uh, kind of called it a day, and um, me and Tom went off to go get some food. Something no no we already ate. We I think we just went home. We went back to Stafford. Sorry. Um, and then went went back to bed. So I think we got in about about one a.m. So it was kind of kind of a late night for us. Um, next day we uh, we got up at around six twenty again, and six uh, twenty uh, got to the range, uh, set up again, did our whole morning everyone routine, and. Um, to get ready to shoot our World Archery 720. Now, again, we didn't get much filming done because we were so kind of focused on getting our own um, our own mindset in in what we were supposed to be doing. Um, so I ended up with a score of 584, which I was kind of pleased with, and that got me a seed of 11th, which I was kind of happy with. It's almost almost in the top 10. Um, so that seed, um, ranked me in all of the archers that were there that day in my boat, in my category. And, um, first round, uh, I got a buy. So, uh, I went to help out David on get like helping him get through his first round. Um, I can't remember who he was against, but he, he did fairly well. He, uh, well, he got he six and owed him, so he got the maximum. Or he, he beat him three times, um, which you can't exp you can't hope for anything more. Um, so he got through his first round, and then I had to go off for my first round, which was uh, which was against uh, a guy called Sam Rees. He was the forty sixth seed. Right, uh, so. Essentially, I I was kind of nervous. I was I, I haven't really done much practice on um, 
my own kind of shooting by myself in a head to head um I've, focused, I've I've done team stuff before, but I've not really done me against this other person, and um, I was yeah I was kind of nervous, so I managed to kind of brave up and um, shoot and get reasonable shots away, and uh, luckily I got more points than he did each end, so I I six owed him, um, so. I got through the first round, which is kind of kind of happy about, kind of a little bit chuffed, and um, got to my second round, which I was against a guy called James Jeffs, who was the twenty uh, second seed, and again I was kind of I was still nervous. I was I was just getting used to it, and I was kind of settling in, and I feel that uh, my first end went quite well. I was kind of nervous still, and then settled down, and then I ended up split in the end so we got the same amount of points so we shared the two points into one point for me one point for him so we ended up at the halfway mark ish at uh, 3-1 now at that point I kind of thought about how it could go badly for me and I kept on thinking about is this going to be something bad going on here and I think that's what ruined the next end um i i just kind of was so worried about where the arrows were going that i i was so focused on where the arrows are going that i didn't properly execute the shot so there's no hope where the arrow is going so uh, arrows went everywhere i mean i got some sixes and i got some whatevers i mean to be fair he did he did shoot some solid scores there. He got a couple of nines and a seven or something. I don't remember the exact scores, but he he took the he took the points for that end, and I was so so frustrated that end. But luckily, I had Sam um, Sam Baldwin on uh, on the scope, and he was telling me where they where they were going, and he helped me uh, get through that um, that end, and uh, got me in the right mindset. And um, got me to win the next two ends. So I ended up with a score of 7-3 on uh, on that second round for me. So I got through that. And then I was just kind of waiting around a little bit for them to, to uh, sort out the, the next seedings. Or for other people to uh, finish their matches. I think that was a, um, a notable... Oh my god. The most epic shot of my archery career happened on the last shot of my last end in that second round now i don't know where this this sits on the comparison of other people and feel free to tell me your stories of your most epic shot but essentially i did the equivalent of um, of walking and walking away from an explosion so i was kind of there was time was ticking down Time was ticking down on the, on the clock. I think I came up to full draw with about 25 seconds left. So it was comfortable, but it was I knew that it was pushing it a little bit. And I, I got up to full draw, and it felt comfortable. Everything felt settled. And it just click came in at the perfect time, shot the shot. And in my mind, it suddenly just went, why am I waiting for this arrow to hit when I could just go back and put the put the bow down? Maybe it'll look classy. So I do that. So I kind of shoot the shot. And then just immediately start and turn and walk away. And my eyes suddenly fix on my teammate. And Sam Baldwin on the scope. Sam's there looking at the scope. My teammate's watching me. And my teammate just confused. Confused. Oh my god. And Sam Baldwin just kind of looks up thumbs up and then that was that was the most epic kind of moment in my archery career to date where it was it felt like <laughs> behind me I was just walking away like suave as and um yeah so that on top of that I'd win I'd won my head to head match so that was that was good that was that was good and um yeah, the following ends, 
um, after that, I was kind of all up in myself. And then we kind of got very bored waiting for the bare bowists to complete their head-to-head -head matches where they'd obviously split the points the entire match going 6-0, or like 6-6. Six, six. And then like sudden death arrow, one arrow shoot off, closest to the center. And then both of them miss. And then they go up, get their arrows, come back, both of them miss. This repeated six times. Six separate ends. Until one of the archers shoots their shot right into the X. And I think it was actually reported in Archery GB, I think. I think, yeah. Um, so once I had finished, we'd, uh, went into our, we went into our third round. And I was drawn up against a brilliant guy called Tak Ho. And he was the sixth seed. So I kind of went into it with even more nerves. Because I knew that the, the seeds were against me. And he's a good archer. I've got experience of, of how much of a good archer he is. So we started the round. And first end went to him. And then next end the round went to him and by this point I'd kind of just the end is done it's done and then I think it's because I kind of just just completely washed it away as this this match isn't going to go my favor I, I kind of pulled a couple of good shots out and managed to scrape two points back and then we came back and we collected with two points went to me so it sat at 4-2, and I know at this point I should have just still been at that mindset of this isn't going to go in my favour, and I'm just going to shoot the shots, that, pfft, whatever. And I, I got that little bit of, of, of nerves, it kind of just went, right, I could get this, I could, this is potentially mine. And that nerve just kicked over, and then he's, he's a brilliant archer. And he shot cons like consistently, so he took the the points, and so it finished uh, six two to to tag, and he went on to I think he got fourth, which is which is brilliant. Um, again, it's that kind of the 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 seed was in his favour, so I wasn't that too disappointed. Um, so tag got fourth. Um, Congratulations to uh, Kieran Slater who got first. Uh, big, the big uh, surprise uh, result, which is Alex Morrill, uh, who was in the 15th seed and worked his way right the way up to second place. Uh, ultra proud of him because he's uh, in the Butts League, which is our region. And uh, another archer from our region, which we uh, we work quite closely with, is Richard Haydock, who got the third place. And he was sat in fourth seed. Um, so that pretty much wraps up all of the uh, the events of BUCS and my kind of top tip for, um, for what I can share with you is that the mind game of archery is the, the kind of key. It's, it's always thinking that you, um, <clears throat> that you need to perform the same shot each time no, no matter who you're shooting against or if you are shooting against anyone at all. And that's that's the real killer. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've liked this uh, if you like this video, uh, head over to Twitter uh, at ArtryBuzz. Uh, you can head over to Facebook at slash ArtryBuzz. Uh, Ar Archery um, if you could like and subscribe, that will help us out greatly. And feel free to comment with any of the topics that I've brought up in the video. Um, links will be below and thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.